Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I do all things embroidery. I'm just hanging out in my little mini garden here, watching my tomatoes grow. And those are the flowers I've had since like Mother's Day, and they're still alive. Pretty impressive. Another tomato plant, and another tomato plant. I've got, uh, uh, these, these are morning glories right here. Sage, basil, parsley, yeah. Yeah, my little mini garden. I'm gonna be working on uh, this candy heart right here. And I'll be working on the candies right here. So, I'm super excited to work on those. And if you wanna learn how to do that, then let's get started. Okay, I have to correct myself because this is actually a heart cookie, not a heart candy. Anyway, so we'll be putting on the red stripes first and I will show you how I do that. The pieces are rather small, as you can see, and there's a bunch of them. So I will just show you how I decided to put them together. So let me just jump to that and... Okay, so I had to speed up this part because it took forever to put together, but I decided to attach the bead and sequin first to make sure the felt piece was secure. And then when I was done doing that to every single piece, then I went back and did the applique stitch, which I will show you. So right now I'm just putting on the bead and the sequin and I'm knotting each individual one and then I show you what it looks like after I'm done doing the, just the bead part. Once I have all the beads on here, you can see the little lines outline the next part. I just grab another piece of red thread and applique each one. I try not to go towards the very, very edge because the felt tends to fray a little bit, especially on these little tiny pieces. So here I'm showing you the applique stitch. And you can put as little or as many stitches on here as you would like. I try to do as little as I can just because it gets rather te tedious. This is a time consuming thing to applique each individual piece, but I wanted to stay true to the directions. I think normally I would have just beaded it all and then not even bothered. But for the sake of being thorough, I'm going to applique each individual piece. And yes, it's going to take me a little longer, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to look great. Here's a view of the back. Luckily, we will be stuffing this cookie, so you won't see any of these stitches back here. I'm just securing this with a double knot. And then we're going to add the next piece. Okay, jumping ahead, each individual tiny piece is appliqued. Now we're going to work on the inside and grab, okay, so I grabbed two strands of white and I doubled it over to make four. See how I did that? Okay. That's just the easiest way to do it, plus you don't have to worry about losing your thread. We are doing a French knot. And if you are not familiar with French knots, I did do a specific video on how to do French knots if you would want to watch it slower. I had to speed it up a little bit because of time, because this was running rather long, so I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys the French knot on this particular cookie. And if you want to check out my other video, I will link it up in the cards above. So French knots are actually not that hard. It does take a little practice and sometimes you do drop the thread, which happens, it happens to me. But with, with uh, this is a great piece to practice on if you're not confident with French knots. So we're gonna do this entire piece all the way around. Okay, I finished all the French knots and they look so cute. I love, I love doing French knots. I think it adds a nice little element. It kind of looks like frosting dots, you know? And with the little red heart, it's it's basically the same thing. You're just adding the beads and the sequins to it and then appliquing the piece onto there. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you guys have any questions or need help with your project, please leave a comment down below. I would love to help you out. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so we're going to just applique this piece and then we're going to take the whole piece and put it on top of the other front of the cookie. And we're actually stuffing the brown part. Okay, so we're 
what I usually do is I grab a chopstick, that's my handy dandy chopstick, and some uh, polyester fiber fill, and I start by applicating the piece about three quarters of the way, leaving an opening for the stuffing. I use my finger, I use the chopstick to kind of maneuver it in. The main key here is to not overstuff. When you overstuff, things tend to pucker, and by things I mean the felt will be warped. You will warp it. So if you notice that your projects are starting to look kind of funny, try not to stuff them so much. I'm speaking from experience. When I first started making these kits, I definitely overstuffed. And over, over time, making more and more, I realized, hey, you know, these pieces need to be a little less, you know, warped and more 3D dimensional, but like not so much to where it looks like it's kind of, you know, lopsided, which tends to happen when you overstuff. So once you have enough stuffing in there, then you can, you know, finish your um, applique and close up the opening. Pretty simple. And you were also stuffing the back of this, so there's two parts to this. Stuffing the front and then we're stuffing the back. And I always double knot every time I do an applique, just for security. You don't have to do that. I just like to do that. And then I automatically hide my tail, which you don't have to do that either. That's totally optional, since it'll be covered up by the back. Okay, the back piece is also brown. And I want to show you that I decided to use white, and I'm not changing colors. Normally in a kit, when you come across a different color, you change colors. I'm actually just going behind the red so that it's being covered up. So you don't see the stitch. I'm only going through the tan and the white felt. So I'm just showing you how I do that. And I like to go in between the red stitches just to reinforce it a little bit more. All right. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. And now we're closed. And the cookie is done. Hide in my tail. And I'll clip that later. Okay. The heart is done, now to move on to the candies. Okay, real quick, I get this question a lot. What if you find stamps that have not been cut off? Just grab your needle, the edge of it, and just rub it off. It comes off real easy. I'll show you later what I mean too. Um, when you cut out a piece, sometimes the stamp is on there and you're like, hey, I don't want this on here anymore. Just rub it off, it, it'll come off really simple. So for the outline stitch, we're using two strands of, I believe it's called periwinkle. And we're using very, very small stitches because we're going around a really sharp corner. So every time you go around a sharp corner with an outline stitch, make sure your stitches are nice and small. That way you can maneuver around the corner much easier. And this is the biggest candy that we're working on. And this is the only size. There's only one of these. And we're gonna, I'm gonna finish this off camera. Okay. So I wanted to actually show you the, the color change. I'm using um, two strands of pink here for the inside. And when you're doing this right here, see how I'm not at the very, very edge? I'm kind of in a little bit. That's because the edge of the felt tends to fray and sometimes my knot falls out. So I like to go a little bit towards, not towards the edge. So which is, which is okay because when you're adding the backing, it doesn't really matter. Okay, same idea applies here with appliquing the felt piece with beads first and then going back and using the applique stitch to secure the felt. So I'm just showing you sequin and then bead. You get kind of a rhythm after a while. Sequin bead, sequin bead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish that and then the little white circle and then um, the bead, the white bead. Uh, I did not applique the white circle. I just, the, the only thing holding it there is the bead. Okay, so for stuffing these candies, we're doing the outer rim and we're only stuffing the middle piece right here. So when you open it, that's where you're stuffing it. The wrapper part itself is not stuffed. And I honestly, I just kind of eyeball it um, and I kind of feel around because after a while you're like, yeah, this is not enough stuffing or yeah, I could add a little bit more here. And I decided to add just a tiny bit more and I don't want it to like, I don't want it to struggle to close. Okay, if it's struggling to close, it's a little too much stuffing, take out a little bit and then kind of maneuver it. 
and I like to use the tip of my needle to you know push it down as I go and push knots down you see that knot right there I'll just push it down right before I decide to stitch there because I want to hide that knot okay there we go all right so I'm gonna finish that and then here's another spot that I found so I just take the edge of my needle and I kind of lift up the fibers just just ever so slightly and then sometimes if I have to I'll grab my scissors and I'll trim the excess just like that okay if you ever have any problems with stamps I know I've seen people will be like hey the stamp is all wonky how do I take it off totally totally doable just rub it off very lightly okay so there's two of these candies all right so I just did them off camera just to save time so there's two of those and then we're gonna work on the little mini red ones I know in the beginning I said two candies yeah I was uh I was wrong <laughs> There's a lot more than two. There's multiples. All right, so here are the three little red candies all done. I decided to do them off camera because they're li literally just sequin bead stuff applique. That's it, okay? So we're gonna move on to the next candies that are white and pink. And these ones I did a little differently. Um, the original have the white sequin and the very vitamin, but I decided to do all pink sequins because I like the pink. I think that's super, super cute. Plus it makes it a little bit different, but you can do the white in the middle like the rest of them if you want, but I liked doing all pink ones. Okay, we're doing the exact same thing with these ones except we're changing colors. So these ones are the light green, whoops, and they're lightly stuffed with the white in the middle. And then these are the dark red. So use, I use dark red on that one, and there's two of each color, okay? And I decided to uh, grab a bag and stuff these in a bag just to have them somewhere because there's so many of them and they're so little. It's just easy to store, so grab a bag and store them. I wanted to give you an idea of how many each candy came, each candy was in the kit, so that has two of them. This one's only one. There's only one in that size. There's two of the reds, dark red. There's two pink, and there's three little red ones, and there's two light green ones, and of course the heart cookie. So that's all of it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and look out for my next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.